What's up guys, so today I'm moving to England for three and a half months to find my friends in my car. This was in the Delta Lounge and uh, let's go from here. We're in the Delta Lounge, been editing for an hour or so. Um, the food here is amazing. I pro uh, there's a picture right here. And um, flight takes off in two hours, so see you there. So on the plane there was like not a lot of music, but there were some songs on the Rap Caviar Spotify. So for Black Beatles, I ranked it as a valid as F, 9 out of 10. Then for Bodak Yellow, I said pretty good, 7. Next up, Exotour Life, Banger, 10. It was different because it was clean, but I thought it was still pretty good. For the Big Sean song, I said was incredibly mid i literally wrote mid five out of ten and then next up we had the Nicki minaj song i said it was mid to all right i gave it a six big sean i like big sean but i only really like detroit too everything else he made is unoriginal i think six rolling piece classic ten i said it was a little weird with censorship and then Next up, we had we had some pretty good songs. I thought the Saweetie song was low-key good. I gave it a 7.5. Moonlight, 11 out of 10. Almost cried. Lucid Dreams, 15 out of 10. You were my everything. All right. Magnolia by Cardi, 12 out of 10. That was, I was like lip-syncing to that. Um, Mo Bamba, easy easy 10 out of 10 humble overplayed so it would be like a seven or an eight but it was the clean version which not all of them were but i so i thought that was pretty cool so i gave it a 10 um then the the baby song i gave it like a light eight because it's all right then motivate by j cole i said like a six or a seven there's one actually nah it's probably an eight there was one very good flow but overall, I was like, eh. This City Girls is a four. I hated this song. I'm not going to lie. And then I don't traditionally like Megan Thee Stallion that much. But this song, maybe it's because I didn't have any real access to music except my few downloaded. But I thought this was a nine. Not bad at all. And here's the last few. I'm going to give Panda a nine out of ten because it makes me think of Kanye. I'll give Walk Him Down a seven. Roddy kind of carried. And... I didn't really like this last song and I want to see the Juice World song. I don't... So when rappers die and there's posthumous releases, except the first Mac Miller one, it's just not as good because they don't get to oversee the full project. So I honestly avoid posthumous and I think this is posthumous. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't really love it. But overall, these songs are pretty good. Um, let me know what you think. Thankfully, I did have this album downloaded, which was a great listen. And I also watched Top Gun, which was all right. Where are we living? So from walking home, and followed suit. We made it to Bricks, Britain. Britain. I'm listening to Oasis and Ed Sheeran and Stormzy and Dave. This is the Queen Rumble and the planes that really have Spotify because I fucked Did up. Did you listen to that too? <laughs> it was so bad. I listened to the whole playlist. I actually ranked everything. Why is Obama not clean? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Bro, even Suze was clean. We've made it to Brixton. It's not Brixton. <laughs> I'm going to bed. 9 a.m. local time. I woke up at 11 a.m. U.S. time. It's like 4 a.m. This was here when I got here. It will not be like this tomorrow. That's a promise. So I didn't fall asleep, but I'm going to soon. Little update. The plane ride was great. My ears, good. The lady next to me, very cool. Um, This is my new room. The next few months, we got a bed. Books, pictures, old pictures. And we have a nice little desk area for editing. And the, the view is pretty cool. Bedtime. 
Just took my first shower. Thought this thing was pretty cool. With um like the you crank it up to there and it does I think it's like a 10 minute timer to save water. Um overall very good. I needed it. We're already getting those British ads. I might actually have to buy these. I don't think 60 is that bad.